like the, the ditty of the barber industry. One of the coldest barbers in the Midwest, one of the coldest barbers in the Detroit area in general. You know what I'm saying? Don't nobody, don't nobody go to no barber for 20 years who ain't been What's going on YouTube? This is yours truly, Andre Classic Cuts, reporting live with another video. A lot of uh, hair shows. I'm like the, the ditty of the barber industry. In this video, as you can probably already tell, this is gonna be a collaboration video. One of the coldest barbers in the Midwest, one of the coldest barbers in the Detroit area in general. She goes by She The Best Barber. And she's elite with the clippers. She's cold with the cuts. And I was just like, man, like we should definitely do like a collab video and kind of just let you highlight your skills of really just how cold you are. And everybody already know, you know, typically I'm known for the 360 waves. Today we have a very special guest. This is Andre. All right, you see the taper come out more after you line them up. The lineup, like I said, is the most important thing to the haircut in my opinion. It can save a bad blend or it can ruin a good blend. But I was like, how about I just like grow my hair out and just let you do like a whole entire new hairstyle, which was like a drop fade. And I think that would be just perfect to like showcase your skills, especially coming from somebody with a canvas or like with hair that typically don't already have that type of cut. Cause you know, it's one thing for a barber to go in and just touch up a haircut that was already created, but it's a whole nother ball game when you create the haircut completely from scratch. I also like to say thank you to everybody that's been supporting me since day one. I also like to say thank you to everybody that's been supporting me since yesterday. I recently reached 10,000 subscribers. That's crazy. I remember back in college when I was creating the account when I only had like five subscribers. So it's just mind blowing to see that I didn't touch 10,000 subscribers. On top of that, I also like to point out the fact that I'm no longer in Houston, Texas. I moved to Detroit. This is currently where I'm living now. And on top of that, I want to just slide in the fact that it's not just going to be a barbering video. It'll more so be like also a Q&A of kind of, you know, the perspective of being a barber in the Michigan area. And D is more so going to just give her her perspective of the barber game. Already. Yeah. <laughs> you ain't you ain't got touched by a barber in a minute. <laughs> yeah, in a minute. That is good. Last well, time I got a haircut from somebody was probably like. Uh, probably twenty nineteen. Really? Yeah. Wow. You did say it was three years, huh? I've been telling everybody I'm cutting drag go up here and then. <laughs> 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 you know what? This is what I'm using now. You know what I'm saying? To be honest with you, I don't have a favorite clipper. I got a favorite tool. Like their kitchen and everything, so 
I didn't get my fit on time. And so what I did was I went to the beauty supply store and I asked the guy at the beauty supply store, like, what do barbers do? And he gave me a razor. And when I took it to school, no one had one. They wasn't even learning how to use it or anything. So I kind of learned by myself. And I learned early. And I was the only one that knew how to use the razor in school early. And you were saying there, like, you was like, it's really different compared to some of the other schools around here. Very different. But yeah, like, I definitely know what you mean, because I remember mean, you were saying... Did you go to the other of, barber school? Yeah, I, I went to the other before uh, I met you. So, you see the difference? Mm -hmm. Definitely the inside. Mm -hmm. I was talking about, like, what you were saying as far as how, what they teach. Mm -hmm. like, you were saying a lot of barber schools, they just be about, like, cleaning your hair, mostly. Yeah. Um... They don't really teach a lot, but that barber school is more hip, mm -hmm. like new school, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. They teach us even how to use social media, which is so cool. Like they have them um, before they cut, everybody got ring lights and you know what I'm saying? It's just so different. They have an advantage now, you know, we're going to school. They teach you how to promote yourself, which is amazing. Cause now we just learning how to go with it. You remember before, like people would just post like haircut pictures and it would be cool, yeah. get lots of likes. Mm -hmm. Now, if it ain't a video, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Do you have a favorite barber of all time? Sorry, That's a really good question. I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you, no. Um, a lot of barbers are really good. Let me think, I, I, I gotta think, because I think I, I, I gotta like a barber. <laughs> um, I gotta think, 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 I, I don't, if I can't think of it off my head, no. I would say the barber that got me in the cut Her name is Jay. Mm -hmm. Jay Jay. What makes you a good barber? Uh, Your connection to people. It ain't even like, some people will go to a barber, and, and I learned this with my last partner, um, who I was cutting hair with. He, even if he didn't like do a great haircut, his, the loyalty that people had for him was because they connected to him. It wasn't the haircut. Just like um, you got people that come here, they don't even need a haircut. They want to just be here to connect with me. You know? so I think what makes us a barber is not the haircut, your connection with people, your ability to, um, it's like it's a ministry, you know? People don't come just for a haircut like this. I guarantee you this. You can have a barber that cut your hair really well, but then you got that barber that you can sit there and you kick it with. They gonna go to that person every time. That it's like a friend, bro. Huh? When you gonna go to the barber that, so they both cut your hair good, but you gonna go to the one that you can sit there and talk to. Who you can open up to. Who's your friend? You know what I'm saying? Don't nobody, don't nobody go to no bar for 20 years who ain't they friend. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Don't nobody, don't nobody go to no bar for 20 years who ain't they friend. <laughs> so all my friends is my friend. So I can never say I don't got no friends even though I don't got no friends outside of the barbershop. You feel me? But cause that's what God had for me. Right here. That's what makes the great barber. Yeah.
yeah, yeah. <laughs> I had just hit like the five minute mark. That was good. That's a live in Florida uh, forever. So, you know, like when you go to community college here, it's cheap because you're a resident of the state. So, in order to go to college cheap there, you have to become a resident. And it takes a year to become a resident. So, I didn't know what to do because the college is so expensive out there unless you were a resident. So, my partner was like, well, why don't you try barbecue? And I like, I listened. The barbecue was like three weeks later. And, um, it was, it, it was my gift, so I always encourage people, even if you don't know what you want to do in life, just do something, because you never know what, you know, what, what your gift is. Yeah. You know, just trying something. Some people are like, I don't know, but they don't. They also don't try to think about it. If you wasn't doing, if you wasn't <clears throat> in the barber industry, what would you be doing? A chef. A chef. Yeah, I like to cook. He's about to drop on you today, boy. <laughs> so what's the difference between your product and a product that's already on the market? Well, the difference between my product and a product that's already on the market? Mm -hmm. I studied my- the product. my product? Show my product? You gotta go grab one. Go grab one for my part. Have you seen me go grab one? Yeah. But, yeah, yeah. But the difference between mine and another is I studied mine for two years straight. Mm -hmm. So I made it so that my product did everything that you want a product to do. You want your hair to grow, you want it to shine, you want it to um, be moisturized. I made it that so that um, it lasts, it's not oily. Because you know, when you put a product in your hair, or, you know, like a wave breeze. You can actually use it for curls, coils, and waves. So it's like multi-purpose. It's not like a two-on-one shampoo and conditioner. But, um... Yes, yeah, this is, um... It's the best hair care solution. Yeah, I believe in taking care of it. And that's, like, the number one product to take care of your hair. And it's natural, too. It's like the vegan hair.
So you do a good job at that. I, I'm, if there's anything that I'm lacking in the industry is uh, the social media. Branding? Yeah. It's new though. It is. Back in the day, it was. Back in the day, it was just, it was word of mouth. Back in the day, you could post a picture. Now, yeah, so this works better for you. Also, the most the hose is better. Yeah, for you, yeah. Okay. <laughs>